Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I'm gonna show you everything about a new module from Prism, which is called Rainbow, with new awesome design. This design allows introduce into this module even without nice manual link in the description. Okay, let's start with input and output. Both input and output are poly which means we could turn it more than one signal in and out. So let's get started with out. So now it's sent everything into first channel, but we can also separated to the uh, odd and even filters so we need module called split let's send it here connect first and second outputs and switch this one okay also we can use more outputs turning this switch and connect third fourth fifth and sixth output the screen collapse mixer even pen this as we want Pretty cool. What's about input? By default, here is a noise. Now, brown noise is playing. Let's switch it to the pink and white. Okay, uh, let's connect some trigger instead of noise. It's worth of nothing that it reflects differently by clock or narrow its pearls. So let's merge it in one big poly cable. Let's connect. different gates into this according to the manual first input get into the odd channels and second into the even and if we gonna connect another one first will be go to the second and first then second go to the third and fourth and third will gonna fifth and sixth okay that's pretty cool uh, let's get in to the global level so it's just like a volume in global Q it's just uh, like a mix between triggers and resonators So you can automate it with and LFO for example, let's add LFO1 and attenuator and send into the, so here is the filter 
two pole, one pole and band pass. They all are all sound pretty different. You can also activate separate channel Q control by switching this knobs. modulate it separately as well also using poly input so let's take now SDS have um, poly LFO Let's activate six LFOs. Let's random the frequency speed. frequencies and it can be pretty dangerous for your speakers so the nice way to reduce that is use a stable filter from Vult it allows you to input poly output through it it will reduce unwanted low frequencies from the signal so let's pass the signal through it and let's try again a bit nicer so the morph knob is like a slew for spreading notes out it can be faster reducing the clicks and much more like an effect modulate notes by introducing triggers and also you can switch scale into the module let's use ZZK source for it and just experimenting
this sends pitch information to the pod filters let's use a sequencer instead of a precision adder steps let's pass it through the for example C minor that's quite randomly select first filter it will send it only the first one we also can lock Now it's even filters. Okay, let's use a lock. It saves our filters from any switching or morphing. Now it's only the first filter changing. Now it's first and second. Now three filters. Sounds pretty good. So the next step the transpose lock button also prevents from any transposing here so it's pretty handy to get rid of any randomness. Okay, the next step is quite interesting using auxiliary outputs from this module. Let's start with 1 volt per octave poly output. Let's turn it into Volts basal some prefader into gates and connect it to slab. Let's pass basal through the slab and connect slave to the summing module. Connect it to the mixer. Let's listen what we get from now only basal is playing.
know why, but triggers are quite quite click here right now. I think we need to use some AD envelope, poly AD envelope for this one. I think I think Newstay has some so let's put the trigger and pass it through the Let's merge it with the main sound from the module. Thank you.